Hello and welcome to another episode of Metro Home Theater Tech Tips. I'm Brett McCall. I'm Adam Rogers. And welcome aboard. So what have we got today for him, Adam? Well, we're going to go ahead and, and come right out of the gate and tell you what we're giving away. Ooh, and what is it this I'm week? I'm really excited about it because this is one of our most popular HDMI repair tools. Uh, this is the HDMAIO2. And what does that AIO2 stand for? It's all-in-one version 2. And what is it different than the version 1? Uh, not a whole lot. Well, Other actually, than just changing some... We changed some the layout. Yep. Drop the price and include the power supply now. That's it, yeah, exactly. Which is really nice. Now, before we get into today's problem, I want to emphasize if you're using the AI2 because today's problem is hot plug interrupt. Right. If you're using the AI02 and you're not using the hot plug interrupt feature, please remember to put a jumper in the Phoenix plug. Yes. Because if you do not, you will not get a picture. Right. Because hot plug must be there. And which leads us into today's problem. Well, hot plug interrupt. Exactly. So here's the here's the situation. Um, we have a, let's say, a cable box again, or some other device that is for, uh, 4K. Uh, let, let's go with a Roku. Okay. Uh, so we, we have a Roku, uh, which is 4K and 1080p. Yes, sir. Uh, let's say it's got HDR in it. We've got an AVR that is, that is 4K HDR, and we've got a TV that is 4K HDR. Okay. So the problem that we have is we are going from watching a movie, which is 4K, and we're going back to the menu, which is 1080p. Ah, and why does this problem exist, Adam? So this problem exists because we have two chipsets inside of HDMI. We have yes, we do. One dot four and past, and we have two dot chipsets. And so the problem that we run into is that as we're switching back and forth between the two different chipsets, we actually the, the TV doesn't know to renegotiate for that new chipset. And so it, the source doesn't know where to be. Right, and it ultimately happens more often when we're going from the 4K image down to a 1080p image. Yes, up seems to not be a problem, but backwards. Is. So first off, let's talk about how to troubleshoot this problem and find out if this is the problem that you're running into. So first and foremost, if you see a black screen after switching from one source to another, or you see a black screen whilst changing from uh, media that you're watching back to a menu, or even from a menu to some other media that you're watching on that same device, at that point, if you lose an image, and if you walk over and unplug the HDMI cable, and then plug it back in, if you get a picture, that's, That's your problem. problem. Now, let's talk about what hot plug is because this is very, very important to HDMI. HDMI is a strange duck in the way that it works. The source, we're going to say Adam is the source, right. will send five volts out, kind of a doorbell, ding dong, right. to the display or the next device in line, AVR, matrix, display, whatever's next. That device will send back its own, hey, how you doing? Right. This is hot plug. Now, without the hot plug there, the next part, which is EDID, who are you, what are you, resolution, bit rate, color depth, audio, HDR, HDCP, never happens. So when you're switching from one item to another, 4K to 1080p, or even channel to channel in some devices. Yes, it has happened. Without the hot plug interrupt, it may not resync. So when you walk over and you unplug that cable, plug it back in, you have forced a hot plug interrupt. Right. This, however, is not a good solution for your customer or their job. So we have created a couple of things to do that. The first of which we've had a while is the AIO. That was our very first device, which morphed into the AIO2. Right. Slightly less expensive, nice aluminum case, right. better installation layout. Now, in both of those devices, there's a green Phoenix plug on the side. Yes. That Phoenix plug connects to your control system, or, to a relay. Or if or, you don't have a control system, what do you use? Our CS-IRKitCCUS, right. which is an IR connecting block with a built-in code learning contact closure. Right, so you can still keep your OEM uh, remote from your cable company, and you can press the buttons down at the bottom to be the thing that actually opens and closes that relay. So you can just learn those, those codes into the IR kit. Or you can teach any codes from your standard programmable remotes right. into it. Now we have another option if you have a more upscale job. Right. And that would be? So in, in a lot of cases, you are, let's say you're, you're doing a, a larger job where you have multiple displays, you have multiple sources. Well, in most cases, you're going to be using an HDMI matrix. Now. The nice thing about our matrixes, which have just recently released and we're now shipping, you have the ability to have the hot plug interrupt built into the, uh, the HDMI matrix. 
So for the inputs. And for the inputs. And you guys will see down here along the side, we'll put the command for that uh, listed there as well. Which will also be on the website. It will, yep. So it's very simply, when, through your programming, you'll go in that when you switch from one source to another, you will open the contact closure for something that's not being viewed and closing the contact closure for things that are being viewed. It's very simple, uh, built into the, in, into the matrix and of course with the AIO2, if you're using just a standard contact closure on the AIO2 as well, um, just go into your programming and just have it set up that way. We also recommend that you put in a help button on your customer's remote. Right. So if they're watching Roku or Apple TV or DirecTV, yes. and they're going from a 4K video backwards, if they have a problem, and it's not gonna happen every time, which is what makes this so frustrating, right. tell the customer, sir, if there's an issue, it's HDMI, I'm sorry, oh. hit the button. Yep. Pick one, the star, the pound, whatever you want, and open and close that relay, and boom, the problem goes away. The same thing can be done in this. Knowing what the problem was when we designed our matrix is we built that in out of the gate. It is a huge problem solver for you guys. It's something that's easy to implement. Yep. Put it into your macros. As he mentioned, if you're not using that source, always turn off the hot plug. Yep. That way there's no communication. By the way, having the hot plug interrupt speeds up sync when you go from one device to another yep. because it's not saying, what should I do? It's being told, I want this, 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 and boom, there you go. Yep. Makes it for a very simple installation, makes it for a very simple setup. So, and it's an easy fix. In, in review, we'll just, just to go over one more time where this problem comes from and where it's at, when you are doing your installations, if you have a source that as you're switching from one source to another, you're switching from one media inside one source to a, to a menu or to a different type of media, and the screen goes black, at that point, if you walk over, unplug HDMI and plug it back in, if it works again, then that's the fix for it. Now, more of the reasoning behind what this actually is, when you, when you turn on the device and it negotiates the EDID, it, first it, you know, you've got your source which gives the five volt over to the display. The display then sends back the hot plug. At that point of negotiation where it's saying, I have the ability to display this, okay, I'm gonna give you this information, and then it locks it in that, at that point. What we see often is that the, the display, after it's been turned off or put in standby, or the different sources or whatever, they won't release the uh, hot plug connection to that source. And so that's where a lot, of, that's initially where this problem, where this solution right. came from. It's because most displays assume you have the source connected directly to the display. Right. And the idea is, and this was pre 4K, that when you switched from input one to input two on your television, if it's already booted up and it knows that you did, it can switch faster. Right. 4K pretty much changed all that because of the HDR and the deep color requirements. So this ability to not have, or this intent to not have hot plug reset is actually now causing problems where in the past it solved issues if you had only a TV and multiple sources. Right. So again, built into this is the ability to do hot plug in all of our matrices. Yep. Built into the AIO is the ability to do that. And if you don't have a control system, in the case of the AIO, use our IR kit CCUS because you can take any standard IR codes, program them into the IR kit CCUS to open and close the built-in relay. It right. is a huge problem solver. Right. Now, if you guys have any other ideas, suggestions, please give us a call. You are at phone number. Best number to contact me is through our tech support line. It's 386-255-0234. Option number three or extension 8301, which of course all that information will be down here. And Brian, they can contact you directly. I'm at 386-846-7264, typically from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., seven days a week if you're working. And as always, guys, remember also with the giveaway, we're giving away an AIO2 today, which is, this is really big stuff today. So you have 24 hours. Um, best comment, best question inside the comments of this video. We're going to be doing it on Facebook and on YouTube. And a um, really good idea on things we could build. Yeah. Also win you on. Uh, well, yeah, we'll do that. So guys, uh, again, you have your chance to win an AIO2. Uh, get a chance to play around with it. It's a really great device. Or it's a really great solutions device to fix issues as well as troubleshoot. Um, so definitely uh, take a look at that. We're giving it away today. Um, best comment, best, uh, best question. I'm Brett McCall. I'm Adam. And thank you for watching. We'll see you.